Hey everyone, today we're going to learn all about unit rates and by the end of this video you're going to understand what that is and what calculations go with finding a unit rate. So I like to just think about those two words. This is kind of the easiest way to wrap your brain around this. So what does the word unit make you think of? Yeah, just one of something, right? So we could be talking about um, one item at a grocery store. We could be talking about one hour of something or one minute of something. And what does the word rate make you think of? Yeah, it kind of makes me think of, you know, how much of something or how fast or, you know, like you're reading at a certain rate or you're running at a certain pace or rate. So when you just think about those two words by themselves, I think it makes it a little easier to understand that a unit rate would be how much or how many for one. And we can be talking about a lot of different things. So in my last video for sixth grade, I talked about unit rates when it came to money and items at the grocery store. You know, if you buy, uh, you know, a 12 pack of something and we want to know the unit rate, we just want to know how much one item costs. Today we're going to be using the idea of running for a certain amount of time to figure out what is our mileage for just one minute or one hour. Okay, so let's start with my example. So I went running for 20 minutes and I ran 2.5 miles. So we want to know what my unit rate of running is and so we want to think about one hour. We want to know how many miles I could run in one hour if I stay at this same pace. Okay so the first thing to know is just how many minutes are in an hour. Yep 60 minutes in an hour and so what we can do is we can set up a proportion here with our information that we already have. So we know that I ran 2.5 miles in 20 minutes. And if I want to know per hour, I need to be thinking about 60 minutes. So let's set up a proportion where the other fraction has a 60 as the denominator. Now take a look at that and see if you can find a pattern that's going on that can help us find the numerator of that new fraction. Okay, you might be noticing a times three pattern going on. So all I have to do then is times three to my 2.5 that I ran to find my new amount for 60 minutes. So why don't you pause the video and find that new amount. All right, you got it. 2.5 times 3 is 7.5 or 7 and 5 tenths. Or I could think of it as 7 and a half. So I, my unit rate was 7 and a half miles per hour. All right, here's my next example. Here's someone else's running stats. So they ran 12 miles in 2.5 hours. So notice how my example, I was counting the minutes. In this example, we're giving you hours as the um, time. And so we need to kind of think about that as we go. Um, we want to know, you know, if we want the unit rate, we want one hour. So let's put a one as the denominator uh, for our new fraction. And then I want you to think about what pattern is going on or what rule that we can do to the numerator. All right, divided by 2.5. So why don't you pause the video and find that new amount. All 
All right, you got it. Uh, the 12 divided by 2.5 is 4.8. Great job. So that means that this person ran 4.8 miles per hour. So that's their unit rate. And I think it's important to see examples uh, either way. So some examples you're going to be obviously multiplying the numerator and denominator. Some examples you're going to be dividing. Okay, so now I think we're ready to move over to the whiteboard and do some more examples on there. All right, here's our next problem. So if this person ran 2.9 miles in 30 minutes, and on each of these problems, we're one.